Welcome back to this Light Reading Conversation. I'm Terry Sweeney, Contributing Editor with Light Reading, and I'm joined now by Prashant Shinoy, Vice President of Marketing for Networking and Cloud with Cisco. Prashant, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Terry. Um, so many big changes, both both obvious and not quite so explicit going on in our world uh, today. Um, what are some of the big market transitions that you've seen with regard to networking that have paralleled all these changes? Yeah, there are quite a few things. Uh, and I like to look at it from like a user to an application standpoint, if you will. Uh, on the user standpoint, I think we are all living and <laughs> working through this environment of work from home. Uh, but technology wise, I think the big areas of focus from an IT organization has been around the emerging access technologies. I think everybody knows 5G and Wi-Fi 6, right? Like the convergence of those is gonna be a very interesting thing for IT to look at from a use case perspective. So that's one thing on the access side. The other thing is because of this distributed workforce, it's become a zero trust environment, right? Like people get connections from anywhere to any access. So how do I create a zero trust architecture has been one key focus on the access side. Uh, the world of VAN has undergone a tremendous change. I would say the world of networking and security have come a lot together. So it's all about multi-cloud environment delivered in a secure manner where internet is your new network, your corporate network. So that's kind of the transition in the VAN space. And in the world of data center and cloud, it's all about bringing the world of uh, DevOps and network ops closer together to deliver this consistent hybrid cloud uh, application experience and having a consistent way of doing hybrid cloud operations. Right. Um, the hyper-distributed nature of, of users, devices, applications has, has made both security and networking critical for just about every organization out there. Um, SD1 is one area that has seen tremendous changes because of this. Talk about how Cisco is approaching this. Yeah, it's interesting because SD1 has been nothing new for the market, right? It's been there for like almost seven to 10 years now. It started off with like just cost efficiency, right? Like paying a lot for NPLS, how do I get cost efficiency, not the hub and spoke architecture. Then it moved around as applications converge to a multi-cloud environment, how do I deliver a consistent application experience? So it is all about application experience. In the last year or two, it's now been since internet access and the direct way of accessing SaaS becomes primary, how do I deliver security, right? So it's this combination of multi-cloud security and providing that deep analytics and visibility which is where the world of SD-WAN is gone. And that's where Cisco, frankly, has been focused on. I mean, as you know, we are kind of the number one market leader for our networking and number one for security. So bringing that best of both worlds, SD-WAN and security, cloud delivered, while providing that flexibility of choice uh, is what we've been focused on. And we, uh, Gartner has termed this as SASE. I think it's... Uh, it's exciting to just pronounce that too. Uh, it's the secure access service edge of bringing network SD-WAN and security services all cloud delivered. And that's uh, what Cisco has been focused on. I mean, especially in this work from home environment that we're in, <clears throat> the, the integration of network of networking and security has, has never been more glaring. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. And, and that's where I feel, Terry, that the, the world of NetOps and SecOps are gonna be the best friends. Uh, they have to be. Um, it's next to impossible to have a security posture for your organization without looking at your network architecture and vice versa. So how do I provide seamless, secure, scalable access no matter where my users are, no matter where the applications are, is going to be kind of the, the game for IT and how to do it in a highly agile fashion, especially if anything uh, it's taught us over the last few months business expects IT to make things happen in 24 hours. <laughs> um, well, so with all that in mind, application is, is clearly king. Um, hybrid cloud is the new frontier for many IT organizations. Um, what is Cisco doing in this space to, to accelerate um, dynamics that are already well underway? Yeah, I think that that's a very, very interesting phenomena that you have seen. Again, cloud has been there since 2005, 2006, right? Like it's year 15 of cloud. But what we've seen is like very few companies have had the fortune or the good grace of born in the cloud, 
right? So a lot of customers still have a lot of investment in their on-premise, their data center, but they're also accelerating their journey to a multi-cloud environment. So a lot of our IT folks are looking towards how do I build a consistent connectivity, consistent services, consistent application experience, and consistent operations around my hybrid cloud environment, no matter where my workloads are. And Cisco Focus is to be the world's simplest hybrid cloud platform, right? And we can do that because we have the underlying network infrastructure, whether it's on-prem or your public cloud. We have the security infrastructure, whether it's cloud security, private security, or end-user security. And we now have the application visibility and the observability platform with App Dynamics and with Thousand Eyes and with all of the intelligence that we have built into our network infrastructure. So the combination of these three working together is what is the secret sauce for us to provide to our customers. And this is all part of our agile platform strategy to build this insights, the deep visibility and automation into our hybrid cloud operations platform. So things like Intersight that we just announced as our hybrid cloud operations platform and Nexus dashboard for managing all of the data center network infrastructure are gonna be two of the key elements for our customers to drive this hybrid cloud operations. Interesting stuff, Prashant. Um, lots of good stuff coming down the pipeline for both networking and security, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to working with our customers and uh, seeing them make even greater business impact, but in a very agile manner, which is what IT needs to do. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Okay, thanks a lot, Terry, for having me. We've been talking with Prashant Shinoy, Vice President of Marketing with Cisco. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us today. 